This is me getting wasp rushed. This is me getting the most expensive unit in the game. The emotional highs and lows of competing are something that I am not unfamiliar with. I've been a competitive fighting game player for the last nine years of my life and have also competed in a wide variety of games from card games to shooters to RTSs for even longer. So when I got into the Battle Aces beta, I was excited to hop into the competitive world of RTS all over again as I had done with Stormgate a couple of months prior. And days one of two of the beta kind of went how I expected. For context, I am a diamond level StarCraft 2 player and about the same level in Stormgate. I didn't expect to rush up to the highest echelons of plays for sure, but I expected a pretty decent cruise up until that point. As I continue with the rest of my story, I really need to give you guys context into Battle Aces and the style of game that it is. For those of you who watch me, you may have been subscribed for Stormgate related content, and that's what I've been making so far because that's all I've had access to. Finally got access to Battle Aces, and I've also now got access to Zero Space as well, so I'll be making content on both of them as well. But let's talk about Battle Aces and what makes it different to all the other RTSs on the market. So let me start by saying I'm not going to talk about any of the current monetization models of the game or talk about the current introduction of the game, which is the Proving Ground, because that's been discussed enough by the rest of the community and the current beta is mostly talking about it. I ideally want this video to be an introduction to someone who's interested in the RTS space but hasn't specifically seen Battle Aces yet, or for those who are interested in Battle Aces and already know about the game but want to see what the community generally think of the game. So, when you go into a game of Battle Aces, before you even get into a game, you are introduced to your unit deck, a collection of eight units that you can uh, slot how you like effectively, and those will be your units for the game. Your slots are made up of, of, of eight slots, of which they're split into different categories. You have two core units, which are core units that are available to you from the start of the game with no upgrades whatsoever. You have one foundry slot, which is one of the first upgrade paths. You have an advanced foundry slot, which is a second tier upgrade to that foundry slot. Similarly, you have a star forge and an advanced star forge. And then your final two slots are flex slots that can either be uh, a foundry or advanced foundry unit or a star forge and advanced star forge unit. So once you've selected that pool of units, that's your entire available pool of units for the next game. You spawn in with a main base with both resources already being collected and enough resources to immediately expand to a second base. So expanding in this game works slightly differently to how it does in every other game. In every other game you have a worker unit that you can select and then you have to go and build it at a location. Whereas in Battle Aces you just hit the button and it will automatically build your expansion. You don't choose where the next expansion is, there is a set location that you will go. So your second expansion will always be in a consistent location, your third, fourth, and so on and so forth. All the way up to, on the current map, a maximum of five. You can spend resources in game on units, unlocking tech paths, or building expansions. And that's it. That is the entire game. It's simple, it's concise, just build units, build expansions, control better, and win. So back to my story with the last beta. So somewhere around Platinum, I ran into an issue I hadn't really faced before in an RTS. I really stopped enjoying the game. Now hold with me here. Stay, 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 stay. I can fear you if you're a Battle Aces fan going like, whoa, maybe you were just bad at the game, maybe you just liked it. No, no, no. Because I thought about that. I was like, is it just that I'm bad at the game? Because, yeah, okay, to a degree, I felt like I struggled in some games because I just didn't have the proper unit counters to face certain compositions. But the problem wasn't also just when I lost. The problem was when I won as well, I also didn't particularly feel like I was enjoying the game either. I started to wonder then if it was something about the game. Battle Aces is a highly boiled down version of an RTS, uh, with much more focus on controlling your units than the macro building of your base. And perhaps I just didn't enjoy that. 
I've spent many years playing StarCraft and Stormgate and all these other sorts of games, and I've learned all the little ins and outs that Macro has and come to appreciate them. You know, things like SimCity, when to spend on research, when to spend on defenses, and how those minutiae changes that you can do at low level that might not make a difference at low level, but will make a significant difference at higher level. And perhaps having those facets missing was detracting from my experience. But, after thinking over it, no. I think that would be a gross misunderstanding and simplification of my problem. Don't get me wrong, I do think there's an aspect of that in my reasons for not particularly gelling with the game immediately, but I also think I came in with the wrong expectation on Battle Aces. I imagine actually that my critique here would be similar to a League of Legends player critiquing TFT for being too simplified. Now, for context, I really enjoy TFT. I also fucking hate League. I fucking despise League. I don't think League is a bad game, but I don't enjoy playing League of Legends at all in any way, shape or form. TFT, arguably, removes all control over your units and severely reduces builds and creeps and all that sort of stuff. It just doesn't exist in TFT. But if you went into TFT expecting League of Legends, then of course you're going to be different, disappointed. It's a completely different game. Now, maybe that's a bit of an extreme comparison when comparing Battle Aces to all the other RTSs, because it is still fundamentally an RTS. But I still think it's a valid comparison to make. Battle Aces fundamentally cuts down on the innate complexity of a real-time strategy, foregoing all this slow build-up and macro, and jumps you straight into fighting and strategic manoeuvring, and highly and heavily focuses on that. It doesn't have as much of the baggage that other RTSs would have, especially for new players, and it still adds something new and interesting with unit decks. And I think that that's a really important point and distinction to make that Battle Aces has both as a positive and also as a negative. Funnily enough, the fighting game community, at least in platform fighters, is experiencing a sort of similar problem. I play Smash Bros. Melee, a highly technical and complicated game. Think StarCraft 1 if you want comparisons. More recently, another game has started to take off, and that's Rivals of Ether and Rivals of Ether 2. Rivals of Ether 2 makes a lot of the technical things that were super difficult in StarCraft 1 or in Melee easier to do. And in allowing that to be the case, and allowing new players to get more accessibility to the game, a lot more players are able to enjoy the game in a new way. And that's a good thing. But that nuance and difficulty, that slight intrinsic difficulty that was there before, now isn't there. So it's maybe not surprising that some melee players are finding it difficult to like Rivals either, or in fact dislike some of the decisions that have been made. Coming back to Battle Aces, the formula that it has, whilst simplified, seemed familiar enough to me, and my assumption was that I should just treat it like any other RTS. And whilst I agree, you definitely can still do that and still treat it like a competitive game and fully go headlong first into the game, and I think for quite a few people that will just be the case, I think I truly started to have fun with the game in the last couple of days when I stopped treating it like that and started treating it more how I treat Hearthstone. In Hearthstone, I don't try and grind for Legend. I don't enjoy playing competitive main map decks. They're effective, but they're commonly just, at least to me, boring. I have much more fun trying to get a really fucking stupid thing to work, and I would rather lose 90 games and get it working once than do the more efficient thing, so to speak. And that's effectively what I started doing in Battle Aces. I started trying to run a Kraken build. For context, the Kraken is a 3,000 cost unit with 3,000 normal resources red and 3,000 blue resources electricity. 3,000 blue resources is the equivalent of all four expansions going up twice plus all of your research on one tech tree. That's a fucking lot. And I don't think I've mentioned this yet, Battle Aces games are limited, they only last 10 minutes uh, before you enter a sudden death mode, which only, only lasts, I think, another minute. So there's only 11 minutes in the game to even get this. So 
yeah, Krakens aren't easy to get. I lost a lot. A lot. But weirdly, I was having way more fun than I'd been having over the last couple of days when I was trying to take the game seriously by trying to get really something really stupid to work. And I think I finally clocked that that was the real fun that I was going to have with the game. Is it how everyone is going to play the game? And is it how I recommend everyone plays the game? No. But I think that's okay. I think it's great that a game like this, that has this accessibility, can be played in all these different ways. The simplification of the game and the focus on micro really allows an expression that is just unavailable in any other game. And as someone who's played fighting games a lot in my life and who has literally screamed at watching someone run up and grab six times in a row, I can appreciate that sort of interaction. But I don't think that's how I'm going to play this game. I originally sat down to make a video with the intention of just dumping my first impressions and first thoughts on the game. But weirdly, after three weeks of playing the game, Battle Aces has made me sort of reevaluate how I treat the games that I want to play, especially the RTS space. RTS for me has always been a competitive outlet, something that I have always enjoyed playing competitively and trying to compete and trying to improve and trying to get better. And I think it's a huge part of why myself as a person I like learning, and why I'm very willing to learn, and why I play all these other games competitively. It's because I constantly want to get better, and the only way I get better is, well, someone's got to beat me. And if someone beats me, well, then I know what I can improve on for next time. But it was really interesting for me to come into a game for once, an RTS, very specifically, and find that that wasn't really what I wanted to do. I wanted to just enjoy it and have fun and just sort of fuck around. And I think that's really great that Battle Aces has got that. The Kraken isn't the only really, really stupid unit in the game. There are lots, and I'm sure I will make many and many a video on some of the dummier shit I want to do in the game. I'm sitting here now thinking like, man, crabs are really funny and king crabs are also really funny and I wonder how many crabs I can build. I wonder if I could win an entire game with just crab. Like, how many crab could build crab? Crab, crab, crab. <laughs> and I'm sure I will want to try all sorts of little fucky builds like that. And I'm super excited for that. I really, truly am. Battle Aces has a simplified formula, one that I didn't think I was going to enjoy as much as I ended up doing so at the end. And I definitely think if you are a Stormgate player or someone who's coming from Zero Space or from StarCraft, that you've got to come into Battle Aces with a slightly different perspective. It isn't your normal RTS. It is a simplified, boiled-down version of it. I do think it's a fantastic place for new players to start learning the RTS in ins and outs. And I think if I had any of my friends that I wanted to teach an RTS, Battle Aces would 100% be it. That's really all I had to say on the Battle Aces beta so far. The game is shaping up to be an exciting and interesting one, one that has definitely changed how I looked at the competitive world of RTS, but one that I think I'm going to definitely stick around with, at least to see how it turns out. And so I ask you guys this sitting at home. Have you guys had a chance to try the Battle Aces beta yet? How is it shaped up compared to the other RTSs that are currently being released right now? I hope you stick around if you do. Uh, I will be doing some content on Zero Space coming up at the moment. I have also been playing a lot of that because I got access to the beta for that finally. And ooh, so exciting. Loving it. Um, yeah, if you've enjoyed this content, please make sure you give it, leave a like, leave a comment, or subscribe straight from this video. Any of those things help me grow and help the algorithm help these videos get shared around. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this content if you have. Um, yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.